everybody, it's Dr. Mary. And for this video, I'm going to talk about another unique way to memorialize your pet. I have done videos in the past on um, just making palm impressions to unique pictures to uh, diamonds and even cloning. And so this is gonna be about making a stuffed animal that looks like your pet and the options that you have available. Now, before I get started, I just wanna let you guys know nobody's got this, nobody's got the exact same opinion as all of us, right? That's what makes us so, so unique and awesome as humans. And so what, what you may not find useful for yourself as you go through a grief process or, or a love process, this doesn't have to be after a pet has passed, doesn't mean it's, it might not be perfect for somebody else. And so I love to do all these different options and talk about them because somebody out there may really like this option. Whether or not you would do it yourself or not, you never know who somebody may ask if you know of a company that, that can offer it. And I was just asked about this two months ago by somebody who had lost their dog. And so I thought, well, this is a great time to do a Facebook Live on uh, having a stuffed animal made out of the, um, the look of your pet. So I uh, reached out to one of my favorite companies that does this, Petsies and ask for them to come and join and talk about the whole process and what you need to do. So I'm going to invite my special guest on. Here she comes. Hello, Frankie, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm good. So Frankie, you are the VP of marketing for Petsies. Yes, the <laughs> VP of marketing. <laughs> That's a big job, I love it. Yeah. So I learned about Petsies, I don't know, maybe five years ago at, at least. But I find it really interesting how Petsies got started, the, the, the coming. Can you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we first got started in 2013, and we originally were doing children's artwork. So kids and adults would send us um, their photos of the kids' art, and we would turn it into stuffed animals and send it back to them. It was super unique, very cute. Um, and then we kind of started to get all of these questions of, well, you know, I have, I don't have kids, but I have pets. Um, and if I send you a picture of my pet, would you be able to do a stuffed animal of that? And we were like, well, yeah, actually, <laughs> that sounds like a wonderful idea. So we actually kind of stumbled into um, the Petsy's realm because our customers were actually wanting that themselves. Um, and so it was kind of a natural transition from um, custom stuffed animals of kids' art and photos of people to photos of pets. Um, because, you know, in, in any kind of family, um, pets are a big part of their lives. Yes. Um, and so people were very excited about this prospect. And then we kind of officially launched a whole new website called mypetsies.com in 2016. And that's when we realized like this, there's a huge market for this. People really love their pets. Um, and, you know, we're constantly looking for ways to kind of give back to people in a way that is meaningful and matters um, instead of just kind of producing more stuff. Um, right. We always look for ways to kind of make an impact. Um, and it seemed that this was a natural transition from where we started. And it's been absolutely fantastic. And now we go from pet stuffed animals to other types of um, pet centric gifts, whether it's socks or a pillow or keychains. I, <laughs> I love it. And I, I know we've got some examples to show. Um, yes. I want to show my personal example. So, um, I don't know, maybe it was four years ago, I lost uh, one of my cats. So my cat, Goldie, her name was Goldie, even though she was a black cat, but she had gold eyes, so I have a picture. No, so uh, let's see, so sorry, my little ring lighting is showing. Is, is So that's my cat, Goldie. Now, I, the importance of this is notice how she's sitting and also her kind of wonky one eye, like it looks blacked out, right? So, the wonky eye, <laughs> so precious. She's got a wonky, I also call it like a meaty eye. So I, I got, I got Goldie when I was working in general practice and she was attacked by a dog. And so she was semi paralyzed, um, pretty bad. So she was, she was my slider. So every now and then she can get up and walk like a drunken sailor, but, but for the most part, she slid around and she sat funny like this. We're kind of like, you know, yeah, I had that little, yeah. so, um, 
I, I actually lost her to a coyote. So a coyote uh, got her when I was living in California, which is, which is horrible. Yeah. And so I did not have her body. I didn't have, I wasn't able to create ashes. I, you know, I, I just, I didn't have her paw impression. I had nothing. And so I had known of you guys for, for, for a while and have recommended. And so I thought, well, maybe this is time for me to get a, a pet C of Goldie because uh, A, it's good for me to, to see what I'm recommending and see what the product is. And then also it's the only thing I have of Goldie. So dun, dun, I've got my Goldie. Goldie. So it's hard to see so well in the because of her being a black cat. But when she sits... You guys actually like got her her sitting position. Yeah. So from her picture, her little and so she's got a little white pot on her belt, spot on her belly. And they even can't see it very well, but they got her wonky, her wonky. <laughs> we got the wonky eye. We got the wonky eye. <laughs> my Goldie. And who <laughs> from the picture. And uh, and so she sits in my office and watches me. I know some people may call me crazy, and that's just fine because we're all different. Listen, there's so many things out there, and and you know we may not be for everybody, but for the people who who do want to get a Petsy, I know firsthand how much comfort it brings them. And like you said, sometimes you have nothing of your pet, and and if this can bring one person, two people, three people comfort, then we're doing our jobs, you know? And and we make sure to, to like, like you said, all these little details, that's what makes it different from just going out to a Walmart or a Target and buying something off the shelf. Like we really make sure to take, our artists are incredible. Um, and we have a team that takes literally every little consideration when they're looking at your photos into, um, into consideration when they're creating the plush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they want to make something as close as possible. You know, now we're working within plush parameters, so it's not going to be your pet, um, which I know is really tough. Nothing's going to ever replace your pet. But we've realized that there are people out there that find such comfort in having just a little memorial, something to hold, something to hug. Um, it works amazing for people with uh, in memory care facilities. Um, and, and you know, we've had, a, a I never, I have chills. I never thought of that. Yeah. So we actually had this really sweet story, um, where a customer wrote us and we have beautiful photos and our team just is emotional every time we read this, but her mom had passed. And so her 89 year old father was then being put in a memory care facility for dementia and he could no longer, um, take care of his 14 year old dachshund. And so she created, the dog's name is Coco, super cute dachshund. We have photos of it on our website, but she created a Petsy and it's made, she said it's made all the difference for her dad. Um, and just, you know, you, there's photos of him cuddling it. And sometimes um, because of the nature of dementia, he sometimes thinks that it's his real pet and it literally brings him yeah. um, to be able to, yeah. And, and not just, not just current pets, but we've done childhood pets as well. Um, and I've actually spoken with several memory care directors and they say- Uh-oh, my, my guest has popped off. She will pop on. How cool is that, that they, for the memory care, and now she just gave me a great idea about maybe sending in a picture of, of one of my childhood pets. like. How cool would that be? So now I've got images while she's getting back on. I'm going to show you some images that they sent over to show you the, I don't want to call it the before and after, but kind of the, 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 the pet, the real pet who is on this side is on your, oh gosh, I don't know. It's all, it's all backwards to me, but you can tell which one's the, you almost can't tell which one's the real one and which one is the stuffed animal. So look at that one. So look at this one. Oh, I got Frankie. Frankie's back on. Let me. Frankie's coming back on. Hold on, here she is. Look at what I've done in the meantime. Oh, look, we got oh. the people in our heads. So um, I was showing the, uh, it, looked, it was like a corgi first. Hold on, let me hide this one. So I showed the, the corgi. And it's almost like you can't tell which one's which. I know, it's sometimes, we actually did a game one time um, on Instagram where it was like, you know, you have to pick the real one versus the fake one. And people had a really tough time with it, especially the closer they are in size. So we offer two yeah. different sizes, like a mini, a miniature version 
And then we also offer a 16 inch size. All right. So tell me, Frankie, about the process. So do I do I send like one picture that means something important or a couple so you can see angles? What what do people do? So we always recommend sending multiple pictures. As many as you can send us, we appreciate. Because like I said, our artists will look at every single one. And sometimes you might have like a specific spot on the back um, that you want to make sure that we get. Even if you don't have photos of those, you can. there's a description field where you can always put in all of the information. Like he had one white whisker or, you know, his yeah, he had a wonky eye or he sits the specific way. But when you're doing the creation process, we give a lot of um, options for customizations, okay. like sitting, standing, laying down. Um, but also with the opportunity, if you tell us he has a specific way that he sits, can you handle yeah. this? Or he had he lost an ear. We can make it without an ear or he has one eye. You know, we've done a lot of um, pets with disabilities as well. Um, which we call differently abled um, because they're just precious, but just different. That was um, that was Goldie. She was a slider. Yeah, and so we've done actually we actually created like the little um, wheelchair plushies for them as well. Um, oh, they can't handle it. Yeah, so so it's completely custom, and and our team will work with you to make sure that so. we get every little marking that we can. Um, our airbrushing artists are phenomenal. Yes, so like. She's got a little airbrushing on her on her ear. There we go. I gotta turn it better. So which which kind of goes along with her. It's just so cool. Like I was really surprised when I got it how well she looked. Um, how long does the process take for the big for the size one? For a, they usually take about the same whether you're getting a smaller one or a larger one, um, just because the detail doesn't differ, just the size. But it depends on the time of year and the demand. So typically we're in the six to eight weeks range. Um, with options for rush production in certain cases where we could get it at about three to four weeks. Um, but during the holidays, it tends to be a little bit of a longer lead time, just naturally, because the demand is super, super high, um, because these make such a great holiday gift. And so that happens to be our biggest time of year. But throughout the year also for birthday gifts, I mean, pets pass all the time, but it's not just for pets that have passed. Um, it could be just for anyone. It can be for kids going away to college. It could be parents going to primary care, you know. Or kids going to camp and they want to bring their pets. With kids, yeah. And, or or even like, you know, we've had a lot of situations where families are welcoming a new baby into the world and maybe they want to get the plush version for the baby to carry around, you know, giving all those cuddles, uh, slightly aggressive cuddles to the petsy versus the pet. Um, or if they've lost a pet and they want their child to be some part and yeah. to, know, to know that animal. Um, I actually had a friend of mine, we, we created a petsy for their dog that passed right before their daughter was born. And she would carry around the petsy oh. with her. And it was just like such a sweet way to kind of Remember their their fur baby. I can't. I like the 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 ideas are so cool. So that's why I wanted to say it's not just for when there's a loss, and even if there is a loss, like it, it's okay. I heard of of one uh, family for their for their, I think it was for their child. They actually cut a little hole and then resewed it and put a little packet of the ashes yeah. inside of the body. So we actually create, um, we have a memory pouch. Um, so it's an, it's an add-on. Oh, that's how I heard of it. Yeah, so it's a memory pouch add-on. So you actually can, and it, it's a little pouch and um, you can put the ashes inside the pouch. That is so cool. Okay, I, I love this idea. So um, the other thing I really appreciated is when I got her, and the, the packaging and everything, like, I mean, it's been four years now, but I feel like it was better than the Tiffany's box. I mean, maybe. maybe. We, like, we, we like to create an experience for people from start to finish um, and even throughout the process, because we know that sometimes it can take a longer process. We keep everybody updated the entire way. So you get like six or seven update emails like we tell you when it's going through each phase, when they're picking the fabrics, when they're starting to sew, when it's going through our quality inspection. And then, you know, so every person on our team kind of plays a role um, from start to finish in creating this process for people because we we know how special people's yep. pets are. We know, we will know what this means. I mean, we each have our own pets and um, we're like pet obsessed 
humans. I mean, that's why we work at Petsy's. And so we know how important this is. We know what it means to you. And so, you know, we make sure to have touch points along the way and, and packaging is, is one of those, you know, and it goes through another phase of quality inspection before we even send it out the door. Okay. That that's cool. Yeah. And the box, it was just like a big, it was just a, I say that because if somebody's getting it as a gift, like it is really well packaged in the delivery. Like you don't need to get it and rewrap it and send it out again. Like it can go to the person from you guys directly because it looks so good. Yes. Um, I, th I think it was great. So back in the days before I was a veterinarian, I used to work in software, believe it or not. And there was a company way back then that used our software called My Twin. And it was, and they sent it, you would send a picture of your child in and they would make a doll that was just like your child it was called my twin. Yes. And I remember going to that facility. It was in, it was in Colorado in their warehouse. And they had the, the, the artists getting like quality assurance every single week. And they would give them a picture and they'd have to test them on the eye shape and the lip shape and the face shape and everything. And, and it was just amazing to see those artists back then. This is like over 20 years ago. And, and the warehouse was super cool. Cause it was like, torsos flying around. <laughs> it was crazy. But the one thing I was there for was to develop what we called the hospital, because if the, if the doll got like an arm ripped off because it was playing, you know, that they would send the doll back and get fixed. Do you guys have something like that? A little kitty hospital or? We do. We do. And, and funny enough, we do call it, a, we have like a hospital intake form. Um, ah. And so, yeah, because what happens is like, because it's a custom nature of the plush, um, and, and photos, you're seeing photos, you're, you're getting the plush and, and everybody's trying to kind of, um, get the, the Petsy as close as possible color wise, you yeah. know, making sure that we get all of the markings. Sometimes what happens is maybe the markings, uh, one of the markings are missing or the shading is a little off once they actually get it. Um, because you're working with photos and sometimes you're working with photos that are super, super old, um, because they're past pets from their childhood where they have maybe two photos. Um, and so we have the option for you to send it back and then we have an in-house, um, person who will help to airbrush, fix any markings. We can do some, yeah, some updates and, and make sure that the Petsy looks exactly the way that you want them to. Listen, I, I've got on my one screen over here this picture of my cat that I'm like, mm, I should send him. I, like, I want to get like 10 of these. I know I know, I might be a little overboard, but the, the how detailed you guys are. I mean, I know my black cat's like not so, not so like amazing to everybody, but her position is great. And like I said, like this is just yeah. so cool. So now I know you have other uh, sizes and options I want to talk about. So this how big is it? This? this is my that's the 16. That's the regular size that we typically will do, okay. but occasionally, so there are pets that we do. Like you, like I said, birds, gerbils, rats, smaller dogs, like you're not going to get a giant rat. I mean, you can, okay. if you want, <laughs> like okay. if, you, okay. if you want a 16 inch rat, I mean, go for it. We will <laughs> happily make one for you. Um, but for those who would like to have it a little bit smaller, um, we do offer a 10 inch size as well. Okay, so 10 inch. So this is, this is, everybody can see the size of my head. So it's about one of my head size yeah. would be yeah. 16 inch, um, which is good. Now this, you know, people can't, this is about how big Goldie was in real life. So uh, maybe, maybe she was a little smaller, this, but um, so the, the, I'm sorry, the 10 inch, did you say? Yes, there's a 10 okay. inch and 16. So you have 16. 16. I like this idea because maybe, maybe this is a little too big if I was to get three more. Yeah. I mean, sometimes people want them to travel with. It's easier to keep on the shelves. Like, you know, when you're going off to college, you're not maybe wanting something too big. It's obvious. I don't want to have this on my college dorm bed. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe. Okay. So what about some other stuff you got? I know that you've got something there. To yes. Show. So I actually... Um, have a couple. So this is my Petsy of my dog, Chewy. Um, oh my gosh. Well, I want to hide mine. Currently, who is currently lounging about on the bed over there. I'll try and get him to come over here so I can show you. But this is called Chewy. He has like, he's a cockapoo. And then I also got, we have a pillow as well. So this is him in pillow form. It comes printed on both sides, which is super nice. And uh, they're very soft. And we have three different sizes. I need that. So yeah, I know. Look at 
Look at, I'm going to switch this around here. Back over here. Okay, so you said that was soft, so it's not. Is it Super it's soft. a little velvety feel to it? Yeah, it's it's plush. Oh, um, it's okay. like, you keep saying plush. Is that like the proper word for teddy bear? But it's a plush thing. Yeah. So, well, teddy bear is a little bit of like a faux fur type of material. Um, so the petsies are faux furs. So this is the difference. You can kind of see this. Yeah, is like, look at that, guys. Like, that's uh, where's Chewy? We need Chewy in real life because that's. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the. Chewy, come here. He's like, no. <laughs> He's like, I don't want any part of this. Come here. Come here. Of all times, you know that like uh, they normally just get get involved no matter what. The phone rings and then they're involved. He's Chewy. over here. He's over here sleeping. That's why I'm like, I haven't signed a release form yet that I could be on. Uh, a Facebook. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is Chewy. Oh my God. That looks like that dog. It looks like you're. Yeah. And oh then this is his pillow. Oh, that's great. So <laughs> he was over there. He's like, why are you picking me up? I was sleeping. He's like, I need a, I need my a model release form. Oh, yeah. that's great! I love it. So you also have got like socks and some other stuff available on the website. Yes, right? some little keychains. Um, the keychains are new. The socks are fairly new, um, and we're constantly looking for ways to um, kind of introduce more products based on what people like. Um, so I need to we have some exciting things coming up. So your keychain is it like a little plush keychain too? Mm -hmm. It's like it, it's literally the exact same material as our as our pillows, but it's just um, like a about this big. That is so cool. Chain. It's super, super cute. So super cute. All right, so now I really like this idea for the holidays, and I I don't want to you know shock anybody, and because I know it's only June, but the holidays will be here fast, and so if it takes two mm -hmm. months to get like maybe that's something to, to think about now um and karen 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 just chimed in uh she could put the the cremated remains inside yeah and, and frankie was telling about the little what did you call a little pouch memory pouch yeah memory pocket okay. i i love that idea um so uh let's talk about price yeah so anything on our site we have we have things from, you know, our socks and our, our keychains are more in the like 19, 20 range. And then you get into the customized um, Petsies. The pillows start around 49. And then the uh, the Petsies, because of the custom nature and because we are sourcing materials specifically for your pet, um, those are more in the 199 range. That's not bad, frankly. Mm -hmm. We try our best. We do everything we can to keep our prices as low as possible. When I you're feel like I even spent more for Goldie, but that was probably because I was like in a state of like shock and grief. I would have paid six hundred dollars for her because she's it's just so like exactly like her. So two hundred dollars for the yeah. for the for the big one and for the ten inch. Um, currently, it's the same price, but okay. we're working on pushing it okay. as its own product, and it will be less. I mean, it's just so much work at the creation of it that a, a small yeah. volume is it in that. Like, guys, there's so much that goes into this. Like I said, even the box and the delivery is amazing. So and we work really hard because because we know that certain things are uh, this means so much to people, and and sometimes people are buying this in a state of grief, like. Yeah we do not want to take advantage of people. We didn't no. get into this business to take advantage of people. We got into this business because we want to help. We want to provide something that gives people comfort. And so we do our absolute best, um, especially like there's competitors out there and we are the least expensive option um, because we do as much as we can to get our prices to a point that people can reasonably yeah. afford, um, you know, with the, understanding that we are having a single artist hand make hand stuff hand create airbrushing everything is absolutely customized to your pet and it's like it's a keepsake but yeah we have tons of pictures on the website um on our social media oh, um yeah. i am like i've i'm now following you guys guys on social media so uh do you know what your handle is at petsies 
Pepsi. Okay. Um, because it's so great to see all the different examples. And I have to, I, like, if anything for kids in the family, I think this is an amazing idea. And I wish I could say I had kids to say that's why I have Goldie. <laughs> but, but no. People and of I, all walks of life get the Petsies. You don't have to have a kid to have a Petsies. It's a I know. I, I might be a little obsessed because I don't know who, which one of my like six that I've lost recently I need to do. But I think I need to either do Duncan, my Doberman. He's been in a lot of my videos. Oh, yes. I have a somebody painted me a picture of him. And so oh. like and then so you can get the ears because he had when I adopted him, he was six and he already had his ears cropped. And so you guys could do cropped ears, floppy mm -hmm. ears, one ear, yeah. no I two different eye colors. Two different eye colors. Like it's custom, Mary. Why keep it's asking all these things? Because you're just <laughs> right. We'll, we'll try and we'll try and do as much as we possibly can. I love it. So let's see if anybody has any questions. Uh, so jo uh, Judy said it's a great creation, and Edward says super cool that he that he loves it. I think, like I said, this is such a great idea for 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 kids for you know families that are not in the same home uh, like a lot of you know split families and and that could be you know something to just consider going away to school absolutely so just as an adult i want one so so you know no judgment right like i think this is zero judgment such a great option <laughs> and really i'm i quite affordable for for how much i just going to show again how cool I, you know, I, really, I just have to get Duncan now done. Yes, so if Duncan. I send a picture in for Duncan, will you, like, uh, uh, you'll have to keep me like, and you'll, I'll get emails of, of his process along the way. So Absolutely. I would love to do that so that I could show everybody the end results. So maybe I will do that. Uh, I've got Suzanne Silk's got a question. So she's got a golden retriever. How long, how would her hair, would her hair be long? Sorry. We have several different types of faux furs. So yes, for the dogs that have a little bit of a longer coat, we can accommodate their their fur. Their fur. Like I have a Samoyed. There's my other picture. So mm -hmm. uh, so I was thinking about her too, but I'm like, that's yeah. so great. Like it's not even going to be that much of a challenge. But it's not just the, the, the markings. It's literally the body shape. Exactly. That's so amazing because they're, yeah. they're so different. So would Suzanne like get to pick like – long or sh so she could obviously in the description say which ones she wants because you know sometimes people will send us a photo where the dog had recently gotten a haircut and so we like we also are very communicative with all of our customers so if we have questions um and we sort of know what to ask to kind of get the best results for you and so our team will ask you hey i noticed that in this photo the hair color is a little bit more this color and the and over here it's longer. Which one would you prefer? Here's our palette. You know you can choose the color you want. So it's not just a you kind of create your order and that's it. We're actually extremely communicative yeah. with you throughout the whole process. I remember you guys were talking about the wonky eye with me. So uh, <laughs> cause that was a little funny. And Danny McVitie uh, uh, had a from Lap of Love. She has a hair had a hairless dog yes and it is so cool guys to see yeah. because it was all like her you know very different colors and uh that was cool because there's some hairless animals there's so, some hairless animals so what's the what's the feel of it it's is it so we utilize our plush um versus the like faux furs oh, okay. or any of our hairless animals but it goes through the same exact process but just to make it that skin texture look um, so we've done several, like several <laughs> animals with um, like the hairless cats and the hairless dogs. The, I think they're, what are they, Chinese crested? Correct. Um, but I mean, actually currently we're running our annual cutest pet contest. It's almost done. It'll be done in a couple days. Um, but we this? do one of, it's a, so we do a, an annual cutest pet contest every year. And then the winner um, with the most, most likes gets a, um, a free Petsy, and this year we have plenty of sponsors that are also giving away some really awesome gifts. And then um, we choose three superlatives, most unique, best dressed, and funniest. And so our most unique one year was a, um, a Chinese crested and a hairless cat. <laughs> and so it was, a, you know, we don't do a ton of them, but we have done several since then. Um, and they're just 
fantastic to work on. Oh, it was hers is so cool. Like I, I love it with all the different, you know, freckles and everything. Yeah. That's what you can see is her freckles. Well, Frankie, this has been so super cool. My moderator and helper Deanna has put some links in the comments mm -hmm. of where to find uh, the keychain also, and then uh, and just the you know the the, the Petsy's website. And um, if there's anything I miss, everybody, you can put something in the comments. And Frankie, so thank you so much, A, for for, for providing such an awesome option for families. I just, I love this. And like I said, anytime somebody asks me, because it does happen. And again, yeah. it's not for everybody, but those who ask me, now I know who to send them to. And I, I always say I love Petsy's. Your headquarters are here in Florida, right? Yes. So I'm in I'm in South Florida, so uh, so it's also a local business, which I like as well. Yeah. But um, so thank you so, so, so very much. I'm gonna have to go run over and check out your cutest pet stuff. Going. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And we also have our big annual summer sale starting July 1st. So oh. um, for those who are looking for a deal, we always do some. Um, like I said, we, we want people to be able to feel happy about their purchase with us. So- Okay, yeah. July 1st? July 1st, the summer sale. You might be seeing a little Duncan coming through. <laughs> Can't wait. I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you again, Frankie, and everybody out there listening. Just love up on your gray muzzle for me. Thank <laughs> All you. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.